trust and he loves me and I love him. Brittany says Justin dumped her via text message and left her devastated. Quote, Ooh. I was comatose in Louisiana and he was happily running around Hollywood. <laughs> Britt's thoughts on JT's infamous post-breakup video? She says, quote, a woman who looks like me cheats on him and he wanders around sad in the rain. That just contributed to a media narrative portraying her as a, quote, harlot who broke in the heart of America's golden boy. But, but what goes keep. around, comes around. In her memoir, obtained by the New York Times before its official release, oh, Brittany confirms she cheated on Justin, kissing choreographer Wade Robson. Hey, E.T., I'm Wade Robson. So she was sleeping around, creeping around. Everybody coming out with a memoir. Everyone coming out with their dirty secrets to sell some damn audible. Some audible books, some paperback books, some hardback books. Anything to sell some. They're going to dish it out. She said she, Britney Spears said she wasn't a hoe, but why your legs spreading for a man that you're not obligated to? Spreading for a man that you're not committed to. Why did your knees go in different directions, Britney? Tim Britney tonight. Wade choreographed for both the boy band and Brit, including her VMA performance with a python. You're killing it. <laughs> you're killing it. The love triangle even got the lifetime treatment. Every time I look over at you two, you're just laughing and giggling. Wait a minute, so he was a choreographer for Justin Timberlake and Britney. Oh, they, they got some freaky stuff going on. So it it'll be the it'll be the ones that's closest to you. So Justin Timberlake thought he was just a choreographer. He just trying to step his career up, not knowing that this man that's teaching him dance moves is teaching Britney how to suck that. Let's move on. The TV movie also brought to life the long-standing rumor that Britney and Justin had a post-split dance-off at an L.A. club. Okay, so it's unclear if Britney addresses that in her book, but she does call out her management team and Diane Sawyer for this 2003 interview. You did something that caused him so much pain, so much suffering. What did you do? <clears throat> I was upset. Britt says, I felt like I had been exploited and set up in front of the whole world. So how is Justin handling all this? Oh, they don't understand you just like me. Well, today is JT's 11th wedding anniversary with Jessica Biel. Aww. No word on how they'll celebrate, but we've learned he is happy at home with the family, focusing on new music. He is happy. He looked he look tired, man. Justin Timberlake got an old, y'all, huh? But he's happy. Got the dad vibe, got the dad vibes. He ain't worried about no Britney. It seems like all these women is holding on to what they used to be. Now, see, Justin Timberlake is a mega superstar, but he has other things going on in his life. He has something more important than fame, and he got a loving family. He got kids that love him. He got a wife that love him. I'm not saying that the relationship is perfect, but... He has a, 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 a union at home. He has a family at home. Something that's precious. More precious, more precious than fame. Brittany ain't got nothing. It's obvious Brittany not happy. Because she bringing up old stuff. Justin ain't thinking about her. And trying not to concern himself with Brittany's memoir. Yo, yo, yo. Michael T. Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is rooted in music. I got another bomb episode for y'all. But before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button. Pass me around, pass me around Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms. And y'all know how I feel about my chising. If you guys like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael US. Also, check out my website, 250gemstones.com.co. Oh, Lord, was an, uh, Britney Spears is following Jada Pickett Smith footsteps in writing these damn memoirs. These memoirs gonna get somebody hurt, in my personal opinion. These memoirs gonna have somebody found in the river somewhere. Everything ain't for, for the public to know. I'm very, I'm, I don't know, I'm just a private person. Some things I want y'all to know. Some things, if I put it out there, it's for a reason. 
Maybe it's for clout. Maybe it's to help you. Maybe it's to help me. Maybe I just need to vent. But some things ain't for the world to know. Looks like Britney Spears has hit a wall. She's hitting the wall hard. Looks like she's trying to get her dance moves back. But she ain't looking too hot. Britney Spears ain't looking too hot lately. And she's still fine. You know, I'm pro-black, but I ain't that pro-black. If 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 a beautiful white woman want to give it up to me, come on around here. Come on around this corner. Come on around this corner. Come get some of this Mandingo loving. But other than that, I mean, she's still popular. She can still, you know, move around. She can still get special perks. But your the thing about being a mega superstar, your time has come and gone. Be grateful. I think that's <clears throat> like I'm a celebrity, so I just look at myself like. You know, I'm grateful for every moment. When I'm old, man, the world has forgotten about me. I have something to look back on. When I'm old and I'm out of here, if I pass on, I want to leave something behind, you know? All the memories I created with my friends, family, and fans. How I tore up the world. I, I set the world ablaze. I did what I came to do. And it's, it's time for the next generation. It's time for somebody else to go up there and make it happen. A lot of people got a problem letting go, especially these celebrity women they're they're miserable i believe she's miserable because it seemed like jt he's married to jessica bill he got some babies he got a little good he gained some weight hanging around with the rugrats jt is doing all right jt's pockets is is well i ain't pocket watching brother but you're doing well got a family he got something that britney don't have and that's a loving family at home, something more precious. He got friends, he got family, he got his health. His mind, I believe, was on other things more than fame because the fame comes easy to him because a fame, the fame and the celebrity lifestyle is a part of his life. It's not his whole life. Maybe at one time it was the fame was his entire life. His whole life was surrounded surrounded around the music and the movies and all this stuff. But at this stage right now, I believe, in my opinion, that fame is a part of his life. But for Britney and women like Jada Pickett Smith, fame is their only part of their life. Like fame is their only life. Fame is their entire life. For Justin Timberlake, it's part of his life. For these women, it's their whole entire life. If they're not being talked about, if their names are not in the tabloids, if their names... And picture is not on the billboards, it's not on the magazines, it the, the 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 vlogs and blogs ain't talking about them. That that sense of being irrelevant really bothers these type of women. Them memoirs will get somebody hurt. But y'all flood my comments. I really want to know what y'all think about just, I'm sorry. I want y'all to, to let me know what y'all think about Britney Spears writing this memoir, bringing up old dirt between her and Justin Timberlake, 250, Rooted in Music TV. I'm gone.